Hello friends, my name is Real Emil. Now, the Abar 500 is a great fun little hot hatch, however it isn't exactly the quickest car to go racing with. That is where this comes in. This is the new Abar 695 by Posto. Abar claims this is the world's smallest supercar. Now that's a bold statement to make, so let's take a closer look at this spicy little Fiat. On the exterior, the 695 looks very similar to the 500, however there are some subtle differences. A carbon fibre front valise with exposed intercooler and rear diffuser, 18 inch OZ wheels and slightly wider arches. Overall, just like the normal 500, in my opinion it looks great and those new additions add up to a more aggressive look. However, while the outside hasn't changed all that much, the interior certainly has. By posto means two-seater, in reference to the fact the 695 has lost the back seats the standard car has. Although this does make the boot much bigger inside and you get the idea that this is a serious race car, not just your average shopping runaround. On the downside, the 695 has had some of the goodies removed in order to reduce weight, such as that air conditioning and the radio. On the upside, however, is in place of those, you get these dual speedometers, both are digital and easy to read, meaning this is a great car to use without the heads-up display. Carbon fibre lines the cabin and you get these big bulky race seats with four-point harnesses. However, the biggest change is that in place of the usual dashboard mounted shifter, you get this exposed linkage dog ring gearbox. With these additions, this car is closer to the Assesso Course Cup cars than a standard Abar 500. Power comes courtesy of the usual 1.4 litre turbocharged engine you'd find in all Abar small cars. And like in the standard car, power is directed to the front wheels only. However, this engine is the same one you'd find in a Formula 4 race car. The result is 186 horsepower and 183 pounds-feet of torque. While this is only a power increase of 28 horsepower over the standard car, on paper that has made a huge difference, with this 695 being 1.5 seconds to 60 quicker than its standard counterpart. 0 to 60 miles per hour is done with in just 5.8 seconds, and the 695 will go on to a top speed of 143 miles per hour. But what about the driving? Well, it's hard to fault it. The first thing to note is this car is very nippy. It'll dart through corners thanks to some super sharp handling. Simply point it at a corner and it'll go through. Just make sure to turn later than you usually would in the standard car, as the sharpness will catch you out. The 695 also has some great brakes to help slow it down. This all adds up to make the 695 a fun and chuckable hot hatch. It's also not a particularly hard car to drive, so as a stepping stone towards a race car, this could be ideal. On the straights you'll find the 695 has some decent acceleration and the top speed is relatively average for its class. The gearbox is okay, changes are quick but the gear ratios are a little long for a track like Brands Hatch. This is mostly due to the gearbox only featuring 5 speeds instead of the usual 6 you'd find on most cars in this class. Overall though this is a great little car and certainly one of the best handling hot hatches available. However. I was curious to see just how much better the 695 was over the standard car. So I lined the 695 by Posto up against the above 500 and one of the 500's biggest rivals, the Ford Fiesta ST, for a four lap shootout around Brands Hatch. So, after each car set three flying laps, what's the score? Well, the Fiesta ST set a time of 58.721, the 500 set a time of 58.080, and the 695 set a time of 57.385. So that means the 695 is 0.7 seconds quicker than the 500, and also 1.4 seconds quicker than the Fiesta. So there you go, and that's where I'd like to end this review. However, there is one huge issue. 
the price. The 695 is 65,000 credits. To put that in perspective, a 1999 Dodge Viper costs 48,000 credits, a TVR Cigaris costs 61,000 credits, a Porsche 996 GT3 costs 65,000 credits, and the crown jewel of Ferrari F355 Berlinetta costs just 63,000. Hell, even if you just want a hot hatch, a Ford Focus RS, the fastest hot hatch in the game, is just 38,000 credits. That's insane. While the 695 is amazing, it certainly isn't worth the money. However, if money is no object to you, then the 695 is a truly fantastic little hot hatch, and I'd highly recommend it. So, there we go. Thank you all very much for watching, friends. If you have any cars you'd like to see me review, then just leave them down below in the comment section. Bear in mind that I only review the road cars. I try not to review the race cars, just because that kind of gets a bit complicated. But yeah, anyways, thank you all very much for watching, friends. My name's been The Real Emil, and until next time, farewell.